So YCS has come and gone. We've covered the breakdown. I want to talk about some of the more interesting parts of the YCS tech choices, things that kind of stuck out, how the format's kind of evolving, what happens with the Shizu here in a couple of weeks. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more Oz content. Welcome to the irrelevant two-week period where we're waiting in the waiting room for those Ashizu cards to come out. Since YCS has come and gone, uh, we kind of got the chance to, I mean, the rest of the world saw it, that uh, Tier finally won its first event. You know what, we got to clap for that. They did it without the Ashizu cards. It just took Tier Elements screaming, you know, the, the rest of the, the good stuff to get this deck off the ground. An extra fusion monster. And, of course, the TCG's love for Branded and High Spirits. Let me tell you, the TCG absolutely loves that card. They are, from literally rejecting the frog to Rukalos, back to rejecting Rukalos, back to the frog, uh, has been some of the, the posts I've heard from people. It's such an interesting thing. But, yeah, tier, tier's, it's finally the best deck in the room. I mean, it was interesting enough to see that the deck had struggled for so long, but, I mean, once again, how many times can your opponent open up Dimension Shifter for the deck to kind of to get wailed on? Now... Once again, I mentioned Brandon and High Spirits. It definitely is the TCG's love child for this deck, all right? Like, it does so much. Now, there's the there's the big topic of Flanderies making it into second place. A lot of people are uh, shocked to say at the end of the day that Flander made its way to a second place finish. Now, to be honest with you here, all right, Flander's got enough, like, I want to use the word ignorance here. Flunder doesn't do what the rest of the Yu-Gi-Oh game does. They they reject special summoning. Their entire gimmick is normal summon, normal summon, normal summon. Um, they are the weird deck in the room that people are like, okay, well, this breaks the mold of Yu-Gi-Oh because it's all just a constant train of normal summons. Yeah, that's what makes it unique at the end of the day. And they also get access to Featherstorm. They get access to a normal summon on the opponent's turn for an Apex Omni Negate or a Mega Rise Interruption. Uh, but the problem is... Looking at Flunder this weekend, you can definitely tell that the deck suffers from what we would like to call I'm going to Brick Syndrome, which is, now hear me out here, none of you have ever heard of uh, Brick Syndrome ever in your life, but it's, it's this rare phenomenon where this deck that you've built for this huge round tournament goes, <laughs> it just takes a huge dump of room on you. All right, you know, you're like, oh, I, I, I drew three monsters, but, you know, I didn't draw my field spell. I didn't draw the ability to get to, you know, my field spell. I didn't get my advent to get off the ground. I didn't open up, you know, Toucan Sam, Rabina, you know, Eaglin. Oh, man, we're just on a giant brick house. That's that's kind of, that's what I'm looking at here for Flander. It looks like what the birds do to my car during the summer. All right, just takes a big old dumperoo on you. And unfortunately, that's kind of of like the thing that we've seen with Flander is like yeah you can open up Dimension Shifter but if you don't have like a strong follow-up or anything else like that that's just kind of the Flander experience that's why like you haven't seen this deck have an amazing turnaround on like local levels or you know like regional levels for a little while I mean it's it's there but it's not like crazy consistent so for this deck to hit all the right notes for it to you know oh hey I opened up Dimension Shifter in probably the best format the dimension uh not the best format the dimension shifter soon you'll have the best format for that but to see the power scaling here that something like flounder with the power of you know good stuff and you know slightly less mystic mind hate interesting enough here on on that note so about mystic mind what happened eradicator epidemic virus was seen i think a little bit less play out of this weekend um, it's not to say that it's fallen out of favor, but I can definitely tell you when you were looking through a lot of these side decks out of this weekend that there was really no hate for Mystic Mine um, or, you know, Runic for that matter. Um, it was still present in some. Tier Elements did get Heartbeat, which gave them a in-house searcher to, I guess, have access to. But in my personal opinion... Um, you might see Mystic Mind see a resurgence here as players, for some reason, are backing off of these things. Now, a little bit of a, a mini debate inside this video here. The constant time debate that players continue to bring up or, you know, oh, no, he cited in, you know, Red Resonator to gain time. 
Um, I will tell you that time rolls are not my favorite thing in the world, but at this point in time, you shouldn't be surprised to see, you know, the ladybug come down to gain life, to see the red resignator, you know, gain life as well. You, you shouldn't be surprised about that. I understand, like, the constant unhappiness that that particular rule set brings to the table. I get it. All right, but don't be surprised if your opponent sides it in. Now, on that note, there are a lot of people that just choose not to play those cards on a local level, I've noticed. Um, at the higher level, I feel like they're almost very important. But when you were looking at like these higher tier events, it's the only real place that you see them. Maybe people just don't want to spend the money for them. I don't know how expensive a red resonator is going to cost you uh, for that particular thing, but I will tell you that that's definitely something to kind of take note of. Um, other interesting things out of the weekend. Um, Runic, definitely. I, I said that Runic had definitely looked like it was going to be much quieter. Now, Runic did win the UK Open out of the weekend, um, and it did end up making some splashes out of the weekend here, but I definitely think that Runic seems, the, the Runic Sprite deck feels like it's not really the NA thing. I mean, like, we've seen it, like, on the region level, but, like, I feel like people are just looking at that list and, like, eh, there's not much of a point to playing it here, you know? feels like it's more of a everywhere else kind of thing versus here. So that's kind of like my two cents on Runic is um, now that Sprint is out, I feel like you're kind of seeing a little bit of differences in jumpability here. You know, like, do I want to play the Nimble Angler package, for example, to mill down to set up the Beavers? Or would I rather do the Runic package and generate more of the Advantage Nuggies? Well... Out of this YCS, I mean, it's still there, but it just feels like it was less shown, I guess is what I'm trying to say there. So, definitely kind of interesting there. Um, other notes, card price is out of this weekend. Fenrir's to the moon, man. That card shot up, what, like, pff, from $25 pre-sales up to, like, 70 back down to, like, what, 50 60 It might still be $70 as of filming this. Uh, but for the most part, you're seeing these tremendous price hikes on these cards. People are talking about Magnum, that's going to be a $20 card by the end of the week. Once again, you had plenty of time. If you looked ahead to the OCG, we've been talking about, you know, hey, make sure you got your Magnemites and your Druus Worms. You know, super rares. They're fantastic options. They are the anti-meta cards. They're going to impact the game. If you look at the YCS this weekend and you tell me that Magnema and Druus Worm didn't make an impact, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. The fact that those cards entered into the game as such powerful countermeasures that even Dragon Link underwent an evolution, that's absolutely amazing at the end of the day. Um, I will say though it was kind of it was kind of interesting to see that Talents saw a little bit of play this weekend. Talents has been pretty quiet. Scythe, <laughs> you guys remember Artifact Scythe? Artifact Scythe is such a problem. Um, I think I saw Scythe maybe one or two lists out of the weekend. Um, he's, he's been very quiet, um, and it's, it's kind of interesting to say that. Um, but that's, that's kind of your wrap up of the weekend. Going forward here, the Ishizu cards will be coming. I hope you're ready for Mavens. I hope you're ready for November, December, just being an absolute tier zero, very close to tier, tier zero dumpster fire. And, you know, these Ishizu cards in the mirror match, uh, I've covered the mirror match a little bit, and um, some of you guys have seen but let me tell you what, some of those interactions that that deck gets to do are very, very, very crazy. All right? it's, it's almost unfair the level of Yu-Gi-Oh that you will see, you know, resolve within those chains. You know, your opponent attempts to do something you're like, no chain, do the shuffle back on this. Very, 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 very integral parts, um, especially if you're going to go into a nine round tournament playing those cards, you're going to have to micromanage quite a lot and I don't think that that's going to be something that a lot of people are going to want to do. On a local level on the other hand, just open up Dimension Shifter and you'll have a fun time. That's really all you got to do for five rounds or maybe four depending on your local size. So <sighs> Yu-Gi-Oh it, it will get better. It will, it'll be fine. I think that this intermittary format that we've got going on here was alright. Um, it is apparent that Konami didn't want to clean up Tier, and that, you know, Tier was projected to be the best deck for quite some time, and I think that the deck will maintain its dominance for quite some time going forward. So, I ask you this question. 
What do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me you guys think, and I will see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.